Hello, and welcome to the May episode of the EFPL podcast, your short story podcast with all your library updates, events, crafts, jokes, and more. I'm your host and librarian, Jen, and I'm here with all the fun that can be found at Eager Free Public Library this month. But first, service updates. We will be closed Memorial Day, Monday, May 29th. Otherwise, we will be open our regular operating hours of Monday through Thursday, 9.30 a.m. to 7 p.m., Fridays, 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Saturdays, 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Recollection Wisconsin. Recollection Wisconsin brings together digital cultural heritage resources from Wisconsin libraries, archives, museums, and historical societies, and shares them with the world in partnership with the Digital Public Library of America. Browse by subject, format or partner. Content partners include university and college libraries, public libraries, archives, museums, historical societies, schools, and other organizations from across Wisconsin. View online exhibits. Peruse Wisconsin historical newspapers. Genealogy Research. For multiple years, Recollection Wisconsin has been named one of the best state websites for genealogy by Family Tree Magazine. BadgerLink. From personal interest to educational research, BadgerLink provides Wisconsin residents with licensed, trustworthy resources. To log in, select your town and library. Then enter your full library card number. And from there, you'll see a list of resources to explore, available in various formats from magazines to scholarly journals. And now it's time for upcoming events. I will have all the events and programs for May in this episode, so be sure to go online to check our website or follow us on Facebook for more information. All contact information for the events and links can be found in the episode description. Fun for all ages. Stronger Together. Community Quilt Project. The Community Quilt is finished. If you haven't been into the library yet, be sure to stop in at our First Street entrance so you can see the beautiful quilt the community put together. We would like to thank everyone who contributed to this year-long project. Obviously, we want to thank our community members for decorating the squares and loaning us quilts to display. Thank you to so many threads for donating the batting and the PCQ quilt group for donating the fabric squares and piecing them together. Now that the community quilt is finished, raffle tickets are available at the upstairs library desk. Tickets are $5 each or five for $20. So be sure to stop in, enter for a chance to win a piece of Evansville history. The winner will be drawn on August 12th. Proceeds of the raffle ticket sales will be applied to the cost of the quilting and summer programming. Writing Club Wednesday, May 3rd at 5.30 p.m. Join other writers for sharing, optional feedback, and writing time. Here's what we have coming up for our youngest readers. In-person story times, Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Join us for all the stories, songs, and other early literacy activities that help develop pre-reading skills for children ages 2 to 5 with caregivers. Baby Story Time Fridays at 10 a.m. Join us for Lapsit stories, songs, and finger plays that help develop pre-reading skills for babies new to 2 with a caregiver. Evening Story Time Thursday, May 25th at 6 p.m. Family story time with songs, stories, and other early literacy activities that help develop those pre-reading skills, but in the evening. If you're on Facebook, be sure to join our Storytime Facebook groups to stay updated on any changes to Storytime. Check the episode description for the links. 1,000 books before kindergarten, and this runs all year long. It's never too early to start reading to your child. Sign up for the 1,000 Books Challenge either in person at the library and pick up a reading log with early literacy tips or register online at 1000books.org. Earn milestone rewards for every 100 books read. And don't forget that the books read at Storytime can be counted for the 1,000 Books Challenge. School Age 
Here's what we have coming up for our Big Kid readers. Tween Book Club, The Tryout, Wednesday, May 3rd at 3.30 p.m., same time as Casual Crafting for Adults. Together, we'll read aloud the first chapter of this graphic novel, play book bingo, try a challenge, and sample Asian sweets. Dragons. Movie, craft, and hunt. Monday, May 8th at 3 p.m. A no school day. Celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month by watching Raya and the Last Dragon, followed by a dragon craft and a dragon egg hunt. And for our teens, we'll have a teen advisory board meeting on Wednesday, May 10th at 3.30 p.m. where we will play Disney trivia. Earn volunteer hours as you catch up, hang out, and plan new teen library programs and suggest library purchases. And here's what we have for the adults. Casual crafting, Wednesday, May 3rd at 3.30 p.m., same time as the kids' book club. Enjoy self-led crafting time by bringing in a small project or start one with one of our supplies. We will have yarn and knitting and crocheting supplies and adult coloring pages and bookmarks. Take and Make Kit, Dragon Eyes. Available beginning May 8th. Make a realistic dragon eye this week. Kits will be available at the craft table just outside the children's section on the lower level as supplies last. Supplies will also be available during the kids' Dragons, Movie, Hunt, and Craft program. Bookaholics. Wednesday, May 17th at 6.30 p.m. at Kaylee's Coffee and Wine Bar at 16 West Main Street. Books, new friends, wine. Join us on Wednesday, May 17th for a low-key book club. This month, we will be reading The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. Copies are available at the library and on the Libby app. Mixed Bag Book Club, Thursday, May 18th at 10.30 a.m. This month, read any historical fiction. Recipe Swap and Sample, Friday, May 19th at 5 p.m. Attendees will bring a tried and true recipe to share as well as samples. Food sampling is at your own risk and the library will not be responsible for any food-related illnesses from the event. Registration is required, so please call 608-882-2275 and let us know your name, the dish you will be bringing, and any allergy concerns. And now it's time for new releases. We get new books, movies, and audiobooks all month long, so be sure to check the website for when new titles are available. Here are a few adult titles we will be getting this month. The Making of Another Major Motion Picture Masterpiece by Tom Hanks. The Poisoner's Ring by Kelly Armstrong. Good Night, Irene by Luis Alberto Urea. Young Adult. Harvest House by Cynthia Lytic Smith. Warrior Girl Unearth by Angeline Bully. And for the kids, Bruce Wayne, Not Super, by Stuart Gibbs. Blue, Berry, and Pancakes, Big Time Trouble, by Dan Abdu. And now it's time for staff picks. Here are a few titles that staff at EFPL have enjoyed. Adult Nonfiction. Disability, Visibility. First Person Stories from the 21st Century by Alice Wong This summer, on July 26th, the anniversary of the ADA, we will be hosting a Disability Visibility Book Club where we will be discussing this specific book. Figured it was the perfect choice to start this book club. We currently have two copies available in the new release section, and there are digital copies available through Hoopla and Libby. If you're looking for a digital copy like an ebook or audiobook, I would recommend going online and placing a hold on a copy as soon as possible. I ended up waiting almost seven months for my copy. So as we get closer 
to the day of the book club. We will have copies available at the library. So make sure you're following us on social media or stop in the library and just follow up. But once we have copies available for pickup, we will let everyone know. Adult Fiction Calling Me Home by Julie Kibler The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendricks And of course, our Bookaholics book club pick for the month, The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. Here are a couple of young adult titles. Splintered by A.G. Howard Sleeper in the Spindle by Neil Gaiman For the kids, we have Star Wars Galactic Baking by Insight Editions. Kitty Quest, Volume 1, by Phil Corbett. To Change a Planet, by Christina Suntornvat. I Like This, You Like That, by Linda Ashman. And of course, our tween book club book of the month, The Tryout, by Christina Suntornvat. And now it's time for It's National What Month? Every month has several holidays it celebrates, recognizes, or brings awareness to, like health or social issues from the important, the well-known, and the silly. So I've added this segment called National What Month to bring attention to a few holidays that are observed for the month. How will you celebrate? This month is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Across the nation, Asian Americans... Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders contribute to a rich and deeply rooted heritage. Whether speaking to first, second, third, or fourth generation immigrants, their impact is powerful and inspiring. From migrant laborers to inventive trailblazers, the month is a time to acknowledge their hardships, culture, achievements, and beliefs. Congress first passed a joint resolution in 1978 authorizing the president to proclaim a week-long celebration of Asian and Pacific American heritage. President Jimmy Carter's proclamation took place on May 28, 1979, and the first Asian and Pacific American Heritage Week took place the week of May 4, 1979. In 1990, the proclamation expanded to a month-long observance, and in 1992, Congress passed legislation recognizing the previous proclamations and Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, an annual designation in May. President Obama's proclamation in 2009 expanded the observance to include Pacific Islanders. May is also National Get Caught Reading Month. There is no better challenge than Get Caught Reading Month in May. All month long, wherever you go, The campaign challenges everyone of all ages to get caught reading. How many places will you get caught reading this month? And finally, American Cheese Month. Melt it, toast it, or add it to a salad. May is American Cheese Month. The American Cheese Society celebrated the first American Cheese Month in October of 2011 to spread awareness concerning the growing variety of American cheeses available. In 2019, the observance was moved to May to better support cheese producers. According to the USDA, Americans consume 34 pounds of cheese per capita in 2015, and they have steadily increased that amount over the last 20 years. We love our cheese, and there are so many ways we enjoy it. We add it to soups, salads, pizza, and so much more. By itself, It's a go-to snack. We love cheese. Even better than that, we love American cheeses. And we Wisconsinites are no strangers to cheese. But here are a couple of ways to celebrate this cheesy holiday. Host a tasting. Cheeses not only add flavor to many dishes, but they are also enjoyed perfectly on their own. Tastings give you an opportunity to explore these cheese flavors you've never tried before and a way to learn about what foods they best complement. Visit a local cheese shop and discover a new American cheese. Learn about how it's made and who makes it. No matter how you cut it, May is a Gouda month for cheese. 
and now it's time for a blog post. Our blog is updated weekly, so be sure to visit efplblog.blogspot.com to read the latest. So to go with our tab meeting theme of Disney trivia, I have gone ahead and pulled the blog post from May 24th, 2021, titled Disney Villains. Were you wickedly excited for Disney's live-action Cruella movie that came out in 2021? If you missed all the hype, or haven't seen it on Disney Plus or checked the movie out from the library, the juvenile and young adult books we have for you today all feature those infamous Disney villains that you just love to hate. They're also all part of a series, so there are even more villainous adventures for you to discover. To see the full list, be sure to click on the link in the episode description. Disney After Dark by Ridley Pearson The Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz A Disney Villains Descendants Novel City of Villains by Estelle Lore Part of Your World by Liz Braswell The Villain, Ursula from The Little Mermaid And now it's time for Discovery Kit of the Month. Be sure to stop in the library to check out this month's featured kit or any of our kits. You can also go online and add them to your holds list. This month's featured kit is Simple Machines. There are six different simple machines. The wedge, screw, lever, pulley, inclined plane, and the wheel and axle. They all make work easier and have few or no moving parts. Our kit includes Simple Machines Activity Set and the book A Simple Machine Scavenger Hunt by Jenna Lee Glesner. And now it's time for author quotes. I'm feeling a little villainous with this month's blog post and with our Disney trivia that we have for, tab, for our tab meeting this month. So I decided to go with some quotes from some of Disney's own baddies. I'm going to do the best I can. Oogie Boogie. I can't be bothered with that. I don't have time for that nonsense. Sher Khan. You have talent, darling. Don't squander it. Cruella DeVille. Success doesn't come for free. You've got to do what it takes to seize your moment. Ernesto de la Cruz. A woman doesn't know how precious her voice is until she's been silenced. Ursula. Evil doesn't always look evil. Sometimes it's staring right at us and we don't even realize it. Regina Mills, a.k.a. the Evil Queen, from Once Upon a Time. Personal fun fact, I met her. That's the thing about true love, dearie. It can slip through your fingers. It's the most powerful magic in the world, the only magic powerful enough to break any curse. It must be protected at all costs. Rumpelstiltskin from Once Upon a Time. And now it's time for fun facts. Here are a few fun facts about libraries and a few random, kind of weird fun facts. Did you know... Hundreds of thousands of Americans call a library their workplace? As of 2019, there were approximately 184 500,000 librarians, 36,250 librarian technicians, and 87,000 library assistants working in the United States. Did you know library resources and programs help everyone Keep up with rapid advances in technology? Almost 90% of libraries offer basic digital literacy training, including how to use your smartphone. Eager Free Public Library is no exception. We offer Tech Time with Jen, Mondays at 4 p.m. and Thursdays starting at 10 a.m. Call and schedule an appointment and you'll have one hour to sit and go through some of your techie questions on how to use your smartphone, apps on your tablet, and basic computer assistance. Please call 608-882-2275 to schedule an appointment. And please note, schedule is based on staff availability. Did you know you can buy a flying bicycle? It sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel, but 
British inventors John Foden and Yannick Reed have come up with a bicycle that actually flies. The Explorer Air Paravelo is composed of a folding bicycle and a lightweight trailer that contains a biofuel-powered fan motor. The motor turns the fan, and with enough of a runway, it can reach up to 25 miles in the air and 4,000 feet in altitude. While the inventors were unable to reach their funding goal to produce enough Explorer Airs for wide availability, they are offering their inventive services through, quote, bespoke production. Did you know sunglasses were originally designed for Chinese judges to hide their facial expressions in court? Today, sunglasses serve as protective eyewear, effectively preventing bright light from causing discomfort or damage to our eyes. Of course, they're also a fashion accessory. But sunglasses were originally made out of smoky quartz in 12th century China, where they were used by judges to mask their emotions when they were questioning witnesses. Last, but certainly not least, jokes of the month. EFPL's resident jokesters, the Harlequin of Ha Ha himself Lee and Punny Guy Ross are back with new jokes that will either make you cackle or cringe. So let's get to it. Well, hello, Lee, and welcome back. Uh, we are ready and excited for your jokes this month, so away we go. Hopefully my jokes amaze you. Okay, joke number one. What do snowmen eat for breakfast? I don't know. What do snowmen eat for breakfast? Frosted flakes. <laughs> All right, you got another one for us? Yes, I do. How does bubblegum go on vacation? Hmm, I don't know. How does bubblegum go on vacation? They take the choo-choo train. <laughs> All right, that one was pretty good. All right, is that it? Or do you have another one up your sleeve? I have another joke, but I'm going to have to knock on wood. <laughs> okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Liar, liar. Liar, liar, who? Liar, liar. Oh, no, your pants are on fire. All right. Well, thank you, as always, Lee, for stopping by and sharing <sighs> some amazing jokes with us. And before you go, do you want to share anything you've been reading lately? Yep, I've been reading the, the Rowley Jefferson series, his Diary of a Friendly Awesome Kid. And right now I'm reading Diary um Rowley Jefferson's it's awesome, friendly adventures right now. Oh, very cool. And you are enjoying those, I take it? Yep, it's fantastic. All right, Lee. Well, thank you again for stopping by, and we look forward to your jokes next month. Yep. See you later, then. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> and now here's Ross with his funnies for the month. Take it away, Ross. My first joke, what did one plate say to the other? I don't know. What did one plate say to the other? Lunch is on me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What else you got? What did the shell say to the peanut? I don't know. What did the shell say to the peanut? I got you covered. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for stopping by and sharing your amazing jokes. So hilarious. Mm -hmm. So funny. And before you leave, would you like to share with us what you've been reading? Lately, I've been reading this book called The Goldfish Boy. It's a really good book. It's kind of like, in a way, kind of like a mystery book. Uh, it's been super good so far. Very good. Well, I'm glad you've been enjoying that. All right, Ross. Well, until next month, thank you so much for stopping by and can't wait to hear what jokes you have for us next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and that'll do it for us this month. For more information on anything you've heard today or want to sign up for an event, visit us at www.als.lib. .wy.us slash EFPL or click on the link in the episode description. We'd like to hear from our patrons and listeners. 
Do you have book recommendations? The world's greatest joke or fun fact? Share them with us on our Facebook page. Or send an email to eagerfree at eagerfreelibrary.org. Or let us know when you stop in, and we'll give you and your recommendation a shout out in an upcoming episode. And be sure to follow us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Eager Free Public Library. And don't forget to join our Storytime Facebook groups. If you attend Storytimes and want to stay up to date on any schedule changes, be sure to click the links in the episode description. Thanks for checking us out.